the home from. Um, in this lecture, I'm going to address uh, Virginia SOL US 2.7C, where students will demonstrate their knowledge of major causes and effects of American involvement in World War II by describing the impact of World War II on the home front. Um, and by the end um, of what you have here, you'll have the background knowledge so you will be able to analyze documents associated with the home front. Um, as always, I encourage you to take notes on this lecture and you'll be able to use them on the quick check in class. Now, a couple of essential questions I want you to be able to answer include um, how did Americans at home support the war effort? What effect did the war have on race relations in America? And on those two things, those are the two main things I want you to be able to focus on and um, you should be able to answer them at the conclusion of the lecture. Now first, supporting the war effort. Um, the US government uh, set up an agency called the War Production Board, or WPB, to coordinate the production of military equipment and supplies. Under the guidance of the WPB, factories produced materials around the clock. Manufacturers retooled their plants in order to make supplies for war. Um, for example, automakers didn't produce any cars between 1942 and 1945. And instead, they made tanks and jeeps and airplanes. In addition, the public supported the war effort by conserving and rationing resources that could be used to manufacture equipment and supply the troops. With factories in need of workers, jobs were plentiful, and in effect, World War II ends the Great Depression. Um, the war created new uh, job opportunities. Women made up about 30% of the nation's workforce by 1945. Rosie the Riveter uh, became a national symbol for women who took jobs in defense plants to support the war effort. More than one million African Americans worked in the defense industry. Uh, many African Americans left the South to fill these jobs, which were located in the West Coast and in the North. More than 44,000 Native Americans um, also worked in war industries, and thousands of Hispanics joined the country's war-related laborers. Farm workers called braceros were recruited from Mexico to keep food production up, and by mid-1945, more than 120,000 braceros worked on farms. So the makeup of the armed forces. Um, minorities served in the armed forces in large numbers. One million African Americans served in segregated units. One unit, Tuskegee Airmen, became famous pilots. About 30,000 um, Mexican Americans also served in the war. And the same number of women also served in the armed services, many of them in the women's Army Corps, WAC. Many women worked as mechanics, drivers, and clerks. Finally, Japanese American internment. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, some Americans worried that people of Japanese descent living on the West Coast might side with Japan in the war. President Roosevelt signed an executive order to remove Japanese immigrants and Japanese Americans from the Pacific Coast. Um, more than 110,000 people um, were sent to live in camps. Two-thirds of them were Nisai, or born in the United States. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of the government's actions. Despite their treatment by the U.S. government, thousands of people in the camps volunteered to fight in the United States. So, in summary, World War II affected every aspect of American life. Americans were asked to make sacrifices in support of the war effort and the ideals for which Americans fought. In some cases, American actions and ideals were at conflict during the Second World War. And that is all for this lecture.